Hi friends, thank you very much for clicking ABC Learning English Solution. Friends, today on this podcast, we are going to discuss one of the most important conjunctions in English language, that is lest. Dear friends, if you are WBCS or SSC CGL aspirants, this video is going to be very helpful for you. So friends, first of all, we would like to think about the meaning of this word. Actually, it means if not. If we think about the meaning of this term list, we get if not. So my dear friends, that means in this word, there is in one a negative quality. So my dear friends, this is a negative word that means this word is used in English sentences in a negative sense now my dear friends if we think about the suitable structure or the proper structure of this term it will be laced then blah 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 then should This is the suitable or proper structure of this conjunction. That means if you use this term in your sentence, after that, obviously you have to use should. Mind it, it is only should. It's not may, can or something others. You cannot use these types of words. Only you have to use should this is the main thing now my dear friends we have to think in which situation or when to use this structure so my dear friends the conjunction list blah 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 should this is the actual conjunction and it is used to extend a warning and also to suggest the consequence of not paying attention to that warning. In this situation, only we can use lest should. That means there is a warning at the beginning of the sentence. And after that, if you do not pay attention to the warning, what will happen or the result? It will also be given there. That means at first there will be the warning and if you do not follow this warning, if you do not follow this one, there will be the result. So in this situation only, we can use this structure, list, should. Let's look at the example I have written here, work hard, lest you should fail. Think about this situation. This is the warning. You are saying someone, to work hard and if he does not work hard he will fail that means if the person does not pay attention to this warning he will get this result so in this situation we can use lest should so look at this example work hard lest you should fail Mind it, my dear friends, we cannot write down here, you will not pass because we cannot use not here. You know it, this is the negative word. In bond, it is a, in bond, it is having a negative quality. That's why if we use here another negative word, so there will be double negative. And you know in a sentence we have to avoid double negative. So my dear friends, we have to write down work hard lest you should fail. So this is the warning. And this is the result. Now my dear friends, I have written here two examples. In the first one, you can see I have written work carefully lest you should fall down. Work carefully lest you should 
fall down that means this is the warning the warning is there and also there is the consequence that means if you do not if you do not walk carefully you should fall down that means this is the warning and this is the result in this situation we can use lest in the second sentence you can see i have written put on your coat lest you should catch the cold so this is winter season that's why you have to put on your coat and if you do not put on your coat you will suffer from this illness so this is the warning and this is the result the at first the warning is given and if you do not pay attention to the warning you have to suffer from this result so in this situation we can use list so my dear friends i think the usage of list is clear to you and you can apply these conjunction properly in your sentences maybe in writing or maybe in conversation so my dear friends thank you very much for watching this video thank you very much